the hare that defeated the whale and the elephant Arabic fairy tale one evening the hare went to the seashore he began to sniff the algae and eat the tender green sprouts with pleasure suddenly he saw an elephant with a whale nearby who were having a serious conversation the hare hid behind a large stone and listened to their conversation my brother the elephant said the whale respectfully you are the largest and the strongest of all animals on land and i am the largest and strongest of all in the sea why don't we unite and become lords over all the inhabitants of land and sea then no one would be able to attack us or oppose our will the elephant liked the whale's words very much he presented himself as a powerful lord whom everyone fears, whose wishes everyone fulfills. This is a wonderful idea, he said. So be it. The elephant and the whale went their separate ways, and the ham remained alone and began to reason. This too wants to seize power over all animals by force. But this will never happen. I will prove that they are not at all as strong as they imagine, and that we hares will never submit to them. Thinking deeply, the hare went back to the forest he figured out how to break the agreement between the two giants and keep all the animals free. Gathering his friends, the hare told them about what he heard and asked them for help. Let them get him a strong long rope and then everyone will see what he will do. The hares wove a rope, relying on their friend in everything, and allowed them to do as he planned. He went to the whale and said modestly and politely, O oh Lord, the strongest and most powerful among the inhabitants of the sea, would you be willing to help the weaker? Speak small and weak, said the whale with dignity. My cow is stuck in the mud and I can't pull it out because I am small and weak. Will you not allow a rope to be tied to your strong tail? The whale thought a little and answered, Fine, tie it up. The hare tied the end of the rope to the whale's tail and said, Now, my lord, I will go and tie the other end to the cow's neck. When you hear my signal, pull as hard as you can. Then the hare ran to the elephant and stopped in front of him, bowing his head respectfully. He told the elephant story about the cow and asked with hope, Be so kind and help the weaker one standing in front of you and save his cow. After all, Apart from her, I have nothing. What should I do for this, weak and small? asked the elephant. 
Let me tie the end of the rope to your strong trunk, asked the hare. You only need to pull once to pull the cow out of the quagmire. The elephant agreed and prepared to pull the rope at the first sign. The hare ran, gathered his companions, climbed a high hill, which was equidistant between the elephant and the whale, and blew his horn. And then he and his companions saw an unusual picture. The elephant began to pull in one direction and the whale in the other. The rope tightened and neither of them could move. Both giants were worried. How heavy this cow is, grumbled the elephant. You might think that I am uprooting a tree. He leaned his back against the track of a large palm tree rode and pulled even harder and the whale feeling this thought apparently the cursed cow wants to go underground but she can't run away from me he plunged deeper into the water and yanked the rope sharply so each of them stubbornly pulled in his direction and the hares laughed merrily watching how the giants suffocated from anger and rage but the elephant wrapped the rope several times around the trunk yanked it hard and pulled the whale out of the water then the whale tensed up and plunged into the depth of the sea again. This was repeated many times, and each time the efforts of both became more persistent. Finally, they were on the shore and faced each other. Everyone looked at the other in amazement not believing their eyes. So you dragged me, roared the elephant, and the whale shouted indignantly. Do you think that you are stronger than me? Well, this is how I will prove that there are others stronger than you. And angry, they again began to pull the rope with fury. But it didn't last long. The hare suddenly heard a terrible crack. The rope broke into two parts. The whale fell into the sea like a great stone that fell from a height. And the elephant rolled like a ball kicked by a foot. So they parted full of malice and hatred for each other, feeling ashamed and uncomfortable. Since then, they have never met again, and the hares got great pleasure witnessing this unusual sight, the shameful defeat of two giants who were going to rule over all animals.